as you can probably already tell, had my gut. <sighs> My baby girl so pretty, she the coldest in the soul. Every time I check my mentions, her comment on my pictures, she the sickest for a second, baby Leo. Hi, my beautiful YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you are new, welcome to the team. I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are, so I hope you stay a while. My name is Danny. I make videos about movies, makeup, and motherhood. And if any of that interests you, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you'll be notified when I upload. Overall, I'm a lifestyle YouTuber, how I like to say. So I'm doing a part two of my Shein fall haul because I've made another order. I'm really addicted to Shein. It's so affordable and they do their free shipping on Sundays and I just can't help myself. So hopefully this is the last of my Shein fall purchases. I'm probably gonna buy some more stuff. I'll try to buy them like in person, you know, the old school way. I had this big old box of stuff. <sighs> See it. All this stuff is from Shein. I'm pretty sure it's all for me. I don't think I got anything from my son like I did last time. We're just gonna get into it and I'll show you guys all the things I bought. Let's get into these looks. Hey friends, as you can probably already tell, whole new day, different area. Just in short, I didn't like the way the previous video looked. So I'm re-recording it all over again. It's on a different day, but I wanted to keep that intro because I threw out the big box to show how much stuff I have from Shein. Now all the stuff has been like put in my drawer, so I like the presentation of the first intro, but I'm just gonna do all the clothing in this video <laughs> on a different day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it and show all the different items that I got from Shein. Just wanted to let y'all know why it looks a little different. It's a different day. <laughs> all right, so the first couple items I've actually already worn. If they look worn is because I did wear them. I just kind of just grabbed them out the laundry because I'm about to wash. But there are a couple of just sweatshirts because the weather started changing. This one says mama. You know, I love mama attire because I am a mother. So anything that says like mama, mom life, I'm here for it. I got a hat that said mom life in my last year in haul. But yeah, just cute, nice little weather. Nothing too crazy. Little sweatshirt, nothing too crazy. I wore it to, where did I wear that to? I think I wore it when I went to a jack o lantern spectacular like a little halloween thing for families um because it was cold outside and just threw this on see so that's the first piece i got and i will of course leave the links in the description for everything i got so if y'all like it you can go get it yourself all right next up is a another sweatshirt uh i wore this uh, i wore this already as well i can't remember where i wore it too but it's just a nice little it says vancouver which not from Vancouver, but it was cute. So I was like, I'm going to get it. It's nice and warm. It's a little big. I also put my sizes down below. I think I am overestimating my size. I think I'm bigger. I think I think I'm bigger than I actually am. So a lot of stuff is plus. Well, curve. She and curve. Because I have a bigger bottom. I'll show y'all what I mean by that later. So this is kind of big, but I kind of like it oversized. Because if I want to wear it over something, I'm supposed to just wearing this. I can do that, so that is that piece. Okay, now we're gonna start getting into the less casual pieces. This is a like color block paint kind of shirt. Again, what I meant, I'm getting sizes too big for myself because I think I'm bigger than I actually am. But when I, I shop in curve for my bottom half mainly, so while I'm in there, I see cute tops that they don't have in like the non curve sizes so I want them like this top I don't think they have this in non curve I thought it was really cute but it's a little big a little long but it's still cute I haven't decided if I'm gonna return or not yet let me know what y'all think if I should keep it make it work and keep it oversized or if I should get uh, see if they do have it in non curve which I don't think they do or just return to get my money back and let me know what y'all think just so I just got done having lunch so he might try to video bomb me stop leave it alone so next is this green top i don't really know the material i'm not really a fashion girl i guess so if y'all know that like this material let me know it's really stretchy it's cute though the color really sold me like i like this like minty green color i think it's fall without being like in your face fall like fall doesn't have to be all dark colors like it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be emerald green or forest green it can be mint green and it'll still be cute I guess it go cute with like some beige something. You know what I'm saying? Or light color something. Like you want to go for a light fall. I think this is cute. 
Okay, a little oversized, but I'm not mad at it being oversized. Like it's still cute, I think. Let me know what y'all think as well. But yeah, it's really cute. So I went ahead and put the top and the bottom together. I probably will wear it together, but since they were similar colors, I decided to go ahead and put them together. Also, I have a bright pink bra on. Y'all know I'm on limited time, so I just didn't have time to change my bra. So just ignore the bright pink bra. So this, okay, this I'm pretty sure I got in non-curve. And this is this is where Shein gets sketchy because I'll get stuff in curve. I'll get like a zero XL or, or a one XL, the smallest size that they have in the curve and it'd be too big. But then when I go to non-curve and I get a large, which is the biggest size, like I have to look this up to see like what size this was. It just doesn't fit right. Like it's too tight on the arms. It keeps going up over my bra and I didn't, I knew it was a crop, but I didn't know it was like a bra. <laughs> so it was like, that's why I, I, I read the reviews. I can't remember if I read the reviews for this one. I'm pretty sure I did. Definitely read the reviews and try to look for reviews for people who post pictures. I get reviews, but I don't post pictures as much. I think I'm gonna start doing that so people can see like how it's really looks on somebody who might look and be shaped like you because this is probably getting returned. And I really, this is probably just how I was most excited about because it's so cute. The pattern is so like, ugh. I just love it and the colors are so fall like but yeah I don't know why I would wear it looking like this so it's probably getting returned but the skirt the skirt is cute okay I panned down a little bit it really didn't make much of a difference but this is the skirt really cute a little big on the waist but any smaller probably too tight but yeah like nice little nasty skirt and that fall green that I was just saying you don't have to wear but it's cute so it's like a velvety material I really like this material see bro sorry but yeah, this is what the skirt looks like probably keeping the skirt probably returning the top all right so that was it for the tops but before I got like to the dresses I wanted to finish out the bottoms this is the last pair of bottoms I got and I panned down a little more so you can really see them they are these comfortable like breakfast shorts like I have a mom body have a mom gut so please disregard I mean, I'm not ashamed of it and this is really for people who are shaped like me so shout out to the women who are unapologetically not perfect but bo perfect bodied whatever that is anyway that's another video for another day but y'all know I love comfortable clothing and I really needed some more like shorts which is the word around the house like if I don't feel like wearing pants, if I don't want to be in pajamas all day, if I just like really lounge casual wear, I got these shorts. I think they're cute. They're like kind of trendy because they have like the, the like the style, the design of them. It says like angel, like a little wording, and they're really comfortable. They're really stretchy. I can really like lounge in the house and these all day. Make my butt look good from my angle. And so what y'all think? If my butt looks good in these. <laughs> is that funny just some simple shorts you can get more i'm definitely gonna get more lounge wear look at your side i'm definitely gonna get more lounge wear from shein because they have good lounge wear for a good price all right let's go to my last piece of clothing actually and then we'll go to accessories after that okay so this might be my favorite piece that i got in the whole haul like i need like somebody's son to take me on a date so I can wear this or somebody just give me a reason to wear this dress because it's so sexy. Again, we're all body positivity here. So I got the rose out, but I'm not ashamed that they're out. It's backless. I usually shy away from backless for the reason of my rose. But this was in the Shein curve. So I'm like, it's meant for curvy girls. It's meant for us who don't have the super flat stomach and no rose. Like it's meant for us. And I love it. I think, it's, like I said, so sexy. So I need to give me a reason to wear this. I feel so confident and so like like a baddie in this dress. Like you see my little big bank is popping. The color looks great on my melanin. I just really like it. I just think it's so it's such a nice dress. And it's long. It goes down to my ankles. So it's all just about body, honey, body, body. Hugging the curves 
It's not trying to show too much skin. It's like giving that peekaboo in the back. And I guess the shoulders, if you're, you know, with that being showing skin. But it's not even too much cleavage either. Like, the cleavage is covered. Legs are covered. It's just like shoulders and back is like the star of the show. But I love it. I absolutely love this dress. And I cannot wait to wear it. I have a nice little jacket. Oh, I'm going to get to my outerwear next. But a nice little jacket just so I get into the building and do coat check and just be sexy dressed tonight. Yeah, let me know what y'all think of this dress. I really like it. So if you don't like it on me, keep your comments to yourself. Usually I'll let y'all comment whatever y'all want to comment. But for this one, keep it to yourself because... I feel good. Don't make me feel bad. So first we take this dress off and we'll get into this belt. It is like a body chain belt. The model on Shein had it with a dress. So I'll probably wear it with the dress and make it look really cute. Just like a simple dress. That's how it goes. Put it your waist. It's giving very, don't try to make a lot of noise, I'm so sorry. It's giving very much like 90s, early 2000s, like Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Beyonce, that she's child, like, they have like the chain belts. That's what made me get it. It's so retro, <laughs> like 2000s. Like, why I wanted to look like and be when I was a little kid. I'm gonna, we're gonna bring that back. It's starting to come back slowly but surely. So this is my contribution to it. All right, then as far as outerwear, we have this really cute, warm. What is this because like a trench? I don't know. It's really long. It's like leather, but it has like the wool inside to keep you warm. I think it's so cute. Hold oh, Johnson, Johnson, get too quiet. Like, yeah. Johnson, yeah, it has like a leather belt, and I just wanted a cute jacket. I usually just wear my North Face in the winter, in the fall. So I was like, I need cute jackets. Could you imagine a North Face with this dress? Like, uh, something more like this. I think it's cute. Like, it's giving very much sexy, sophisticated. Like, imagine. Imagine we walk, hold on. Is this where I check my coats? Oh, okay. Thank you. Like, you feel me? Oh my God. Like, it's giving. It gives that. I love it. I love this coat. So, I'll be getting more coats from Shein, probably. It's pretty decent quality. It's more on the pricier Shein side. I know we used to stuff being like $3 on Shein. So this is a little pricier, but. It's a jacket coat. What do you expect? All right, so now I'm getting to the accessories. Y'all know I love a good hat. So I had to get me a nice little Joe Goldberg cap. You know who Joe Goldberg is? Like this video. This is like perfect for Joe. Like really. Okay. Joe's almost getting the video. But yeah. It says low key. Yeah. How I? Yeah. Cut. Go get me that. Can you hand me that? Can you hand me that, please? Give me that right there. Give me that. Give me that, Josan. Give me that. That's give me the video. Okay. Yeah, low key was how I usually am when I'm running errands, having a bad hair day. I'm low key. So you like this hat. And I got another hat. Like, tell me this isn't cute. Like, I've been feeling the fedora-ish type hats. That's probably my fall staple because I bought a couple. Yeah. In like brown yeah. nude colors. This yeah. is so cute, little yeah. belt around it. I think it's so cute. Yeah. It can fit over my big old yeah. head. Yeah. 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 Cute. Staying on the subject of head pieces, I actually got this scarf. And the way they had it shown was a bandana to wear around your head. So I'm gonna show you how, how they had it. And that's what really sold me the way they had it. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a really cute style. Yeah. Something like this is how they had it. I think it's really cute. I've seen like, you know, celebrities and influencers wear like bandanas on their head like this. So I think it's really cute. I like it. And the color and the print is really pretty. I began to wear this. Again, bright colors in the fall is a thing. Like you don't have to wear dark muted colors all fall. Like add some spice to your life. And on the accessories, I got these plastic like glasses that are really hot right now. I love glasses. I had a glasses phase once upon a time. I still gotta have a decent amount of glasses. Some broke though, so not as many as I used to. But yeah, I like glasses. Again, I like being low key when I'm out. And these are cute and trendy. These were adorable, so. Had to cop them. Also a little boring. I bought some belts. <laughs> I don't know if y'all care about that. I just need belts. I'm not a belt person. I usually just, I don't even have a belt on these jeans right now. Sometimes you get tired of your pants falling all the time. So, just bought some belts. I think they're cute. Neutral. 
colors that you need in your closet and then I like always like a cute buckle detail. Nobody really cares about that though, do y'all? So I also got this purse. Y'all yeah, know I'm turning into a purse girl. I don't know who am I? I've been getting a lot of purses from Shein. Like I have a whole like sack of purses from Shein. Some that I haven't even worn or carried yet. But I need a nice brown purse. And these little mini purses are really like the new style, the new trend nowadays. Like so many people sell mini purses. But it's so cute. I don't really like big bulky purses anyway, so this works for me. It comes with another strap for one to like wear like on my shoulder, or even crossbody. But my son that got into this. I don't know where the strap said, I had to find it. But it comes with like a longer strap. But I might look actually carry like this. I think it's cute. Like But I have the strap as an option because sometimes I can get tired of carrying something in my hand. Just one on my shoulder. But this is gonna be cute for the fall. More accessories. I bought these earrings. These are really cute. Also give me very much 90s. Like your mom was a baddie. Like your mom that went to Freak Nick. This is the type of earrings you would have wore. Like these are baddie 90s earrings in my opinion. Like that's the vibes I get from them. And I told you that's, that's, that's looking my aesthetic. Like bring the 90s into the 2010s. The 2020s actually. Ooh, child, been a long couple years. So I bought a couple pairs of necklaces. The other pair I actually can't find, so I'm just gonna insert a picture of them here. And I'm probably gonna actually insert a picture of these here as well, because they're kind of tangled up, and I really just don't have the energy to get them untangled, but this is what the charms look like. Got a little angel. And like a rose. So the last piece of accessory I'm going to show you are these anklets, but I also have some shoes that I bought, so I'm going to put the shoes on as well, so you can see them both together. Those are the last two pieces in my Shein haul. So one second, and I'll give y'all a shoe cam. Okay, I brought everything down really low for a shoe cam, so this might not be the best of lighting, but these are the shoes, honey. These are trendy. Like the thing of the video probably is trendy, because I try to tune into things that are very hot right now and very trendy so y'all know the square toe heel let me try to see if my mac and these still work so you know the square toe heel is really high and this mesh style is just like i love it i think it's so cute it keeps your foot covered but it's probably not for like you know winter where it's like snowing outside because it is like open but i think for the transition to fall these are really cute you can dress it up with a nice dress. You can wear them down with just some jeans. Like I think these look cute with my jeans that I have on now. Oh, these are the anklets that I got. Again, back to bringing back 2090s anklets. Like I've been wanting to bring back anklets for a while. When they actually started coming back, I've been wanting to cop some. I've been wanting to buy some. I used to love them when I was younger. Like some nice manicure toes in my Nelly voice. Pedicure, I know. It was a joke. But some nice toes. Some bomb shoes and an anklet. Honey, you are a baddie. But your shoes are cute. They're pretty comfortable. I have a pretty wide foot. So they're wide foot friendly. They're not too tight. So yeah, these are the shoes. Let me know what y'all think of them. If they are cute. Child, I'm showing y'all this for free, honey. You usually gotta pay for this. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> And that is it for my Shein haul. That's all the pieces that I bought for my second part of my Shein fall haul. Let me know which items you liked, which ones you think I should return. And tell me how y'all would some of the pieces. Like, what would you match with it? Where would you wear it to? Let me know y'all fashion sense. Also, let me know if y'all want to see any more hauls. If I should like an Amazon haul, if I should do more Shein hauls. That is my, my, my queen though, so we're going to probably do those in, in, in sparsity. Because, <laughs> honey... It's the holiday season. I gotta buy my baby a gift. But I do kind of want to do a certain kind of series. I kind of want to make it exclusive for my TikTok only though. So follow me on TikTok. I kind of want to take some of my favorite influencers and fashionistas and find items in places like Shein, Amazon for cheaper. That is like their style. So if you are a fan of this influencer, here's how you can dress like them on a budget and plus size. And you know, BBL yeah. fashion is a thing. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to get BBL yeah. fashion without the BBL. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Okay, that's it for my video again. Thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, stay beautiful.